Today I wanted to demonstrate how to use Microsoft Excel's Quick Analysis feature. The Quick Analysis is actually kind of hidden. You only see it after you select a range of cells. I've just selected my entertainment expenses for the past six months, which is cells B16 to G16. In the bottom right-hand corner of the range, I get a little button that's called the Quick Analysis. When I click on it, what it does is it brings up different analysis tools that I can use to quickly look over and analyze trends in the information I just selected. So the first tab that I get in the Quick Analysis tools is called Formatting. What this is actually using is Excel's Conditional Formatting feature. And with Conditional Formatting, you always have an option for data bars, colors, icon sets, and you can customize by having it highlight any values that are greater or less than a certain amount in the top 10%. And you can also clear formatting from here. I'm just going to select the icon sets. I want it to basically identify which months had the highest expenses. By just clicking on that button, now I can easily see that I spent the most in February and May. The Quick Analysis Chart tool uses Excel's recommended chart feature. Now the only problem is, is if I want to create a chart using Quick Analysis, I can only pick ranges that are right next to each other. So in this case, I'm going to select cells A6 to B16, which basically gives me my January expenses. If I did want to chart information for January, though, I can quickly click on the Quick Analysis tool and select Charts. And what I get are the same features I would get if I use the recommended charts feature. And what it does is it shows us the most obvious charts that you can use when working with the range of cells that I just selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on pie. And what that did was created a pie chart that I can use for my January expenses. The third tab in Quick Analysis is the totals tab. This one is actually great if you want to quickly add either a column or a row total to a range of cells. I'm going to go ahead and select this whole table of information, so cells A6 to G16. Now when I click on the Quick Analysis and choose the totals, I have a choice between different totals to go in the bottom row. And I'll go ahead and choose the sum, but I can also go back to it when I go to totals you'll notice at the very end, there's a little arrow. And when I click on that, it runs through all the different column totals that I might wanna add. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the sum for the right column also. So now I have a total for all expenses at the very bottom and a total for each month over on the right. The Quick Analysis Tables tab allows you to quickly convert a range of cells to a table or a pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and select this entire range of data, which is cells A1 to E16, and click on the Quick Analysis. Now I'm going to pick the fourth tab, which is Tables, and then I have some different choices. One, if I choose Table, what that'll do is when I click on it, is it switches it to a data table, which I can use as a source of different pivot tables or use it to make it easier to kind of analyze and filter information. The other thing I can do now that I've made it a table, I can go back to quick analysis and the other option I have are what are called recommended pivot tables. And pivot tables are just a great tool because it's an easy way to kind of summarize a group of information. And as I run over each one, I'll decide which one makes the most sense. So what I'm going to do is select all the different um, types of industries and a count of how many companies I have in my client list from each one. So now that I've clicked on that, I've easily created a pivot table. The last quick analysis tab is the spark lines. I'm going to go ahead and select cells B3 to H6 and click on Quick Analysis, and I'm gonna choose the Sparklines tab. Sparklines are actually really cool because what they'll do is they'll show trends over time, almost like a mini chart, and it'll place it in the cell right next to the range that you selected. 
So since I selected the sales by region and I selected all of them, it automatically puts a spark line in all the cells. This is Gina with today's tip. For more information about our company, visit officeproductivitytraining.com.